Hello, my dear boys and girls. How are you all doing? A very, very, very good evening to all of you. I hope you're all ready and excited for yet another dynamite series question for mathematics. So people, did you all enjoy the question which I solved for you yesterday? I hope you liked it and I hope you got something out of it. And it made you think because that is the whole point of the series. Now let's move forward and try to venture into other chapters, other mixture of concepts. Okay. So are you all ready? If everybody is ready, light up the chat with a fire, with a yo, with a thumbs up so that all of us are energetic and all of us will dive right into our session. Okay. Great. So like I said, dynamite means small but powerful. Look at that dynamite. So is it safe to keep it on your mouth? <laughs> but yeah, dynamites are very explosive and they are very strong. They can cause a lot of damage like that. I'm going to help you damage the weak areas and get stronger in them. So let's get into it. Okay. The question for today, my dear boys and girls is over here on your screen. If you are new to this channel, welcome all of you try it along with me and let's have a great time solving and enjoying maths. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, this question is super complicated when you look at it. Sir, can I solve this? No way, sir. It looks so scary. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do, sir. But guys, let me tell you one thing. This is not greatest integer function. It's just a bracket. This is not greatest integer function. So if somebody had that doubt, I have cleared it now so you can try okay so it is not greatest integer function guys it's just the normal braces or brackets got it so shall i get started or do you want to want to try along with me okay you guys can do that you guys can probably try it along with me and let's see if you guys get it faster okay are you ready for the challenge do you think you can do faster than me of course you can man, I teach very slow. <laughs> okay, so let's get started people. First of all, let's take this limit as L. Okay, this limit as L. So L is equal to what? Limit N tending to infinity. What do I have? N factorial. What is N factorial? We know what is factorial, right? This is not exclamation mark. Surprise, no, not that. Okay, it is factorial factorial means in maths you multiply all the natural numbers starting from one all the way up to n so you multiply all the natural numbers starting from one and go all the way up to n okay is that clear my dear boys and girls everybody happy with that super great now i have n to the power n what is n to the power n n to the power n is nothing but n multiplied with itself n times n multiplied with itself n times is that right everybody did you guys like that so below every number here how many numbers are there n numbers are there n factorial will have n numbers multiplied so below every number i'll put one n below every number i'll put one n and then outside what do we have? To the power 1 by n. Is this okay with everybody? This is the first step. Now, why did I do this? How did I get the idea? That's a very honest question because I have something in my mind which tells me to do it like this. And what is that? The concept. What is the concept? Limit. Limit of a sum can be expressed as a definite integral very important concept if you don't know you have to learn it it is there in cbse it will be there in state board and it is quite frequently asked in j mains also in advance also in advance what is the topic let me repeat limit uh, limit of a sum expressed as a integral definite integral okay are you all good clear so when i did that trickiest question session now 
on I guess Saturday so please go back and check that video that I have solved a similar question limit of a sum expressed as a definite integral very good concept okay so let's get started people so now now I I want to bring the power down because that is complicating things for me that is tying my hands my hands are tied it's like I am handcuffed because of this power it's not letting me do anything so what I'll do I want to bring the power out so that I'll be free so how do you bring the power in the front very good you guys are legends you know it you thought about it I read your mind wise okay so you have to take log when I take log on both sides what will happen the power will come to the front And then here you have product when you take log of product you can express it as a sum you can express it as a sum correct now beauty now one common mistake people do is they'll be like sir n tends to infinity sir this will be 0 0 sir log 0 will be minus infinity log 0 minus infinity so all minus infinity sir divided by infinity sir so answer is 1 please please don't give me shock like this okay you cannot do that I'll tell you the right way to do it please listen carefully because you cannot individually evaluate the limit when it is undefined okay one go one boy was asking in my class sir limit of f of x plus g of x can i separate it as limit f of x plus limit g of x yes you can do that but only when they are well defined so here the limit is not well defined so you cannot separate it evaluate it separate it evaluate it separate it evaluate it no you can't do that you have to first Combine them, make sense out of it and then do it. Okay. So here, don't do that. Here you have to convert it into an integral. That is, a, that is the concept being tested. You have to convert this to an integral. We call it limit of a sum. Can you see that? Limit of a sum. Do you understand the to topic now? Limit you have of a series. That should be converted into a definite integral. I'll show you how. So first of all, before you do that, Express the sum as a sigma form. Express the sum as a sigma form. Okay, so how do I express the sum as a sigma form? I can write it as limit n tending to infinity. Sigma, what do I have? 1 by n log of r by n. Where r goes from 1 to n. Did you guys like that? So that is my sigma form. Can you guys open the sigma and check whether I wrote it correctly? You open it and see first r will be 1. So 1 by n log 1 by n. Do you have it? Yes. Next r will be 2. So 1 by, 1 by n log 2 by n. So 1 by n log 2 by n. Do I have it? So what I wrote is correct. So I converted the summation into a sigma. Because after the sigma using the steps which I tell you, you can easily convert it into a definite integral. So how do you convert it into a definite integral? Let me give you the let me give you the rules. Sigma will become integral. 1 by n will become dx. R by n will become x. These three please don't forget. So what will happen? This will become integral. 1 by n is dx and log r by n will become log x. So it is integral log x dx. But what are the limits? So limits are for the variable. Limits are for the variable of integration. What is the variable of integration? x. What is x? r by n. So what is the limit of r by n? r lower value is 1. 1 divided by n. n is infinity. So 1 by infinity is 0. r upper value is what? n. r highest value is n. 
So n by n is what? 1. So 0 to 1 log x dx is equal to log of l. That is my answer. Okay. Just evaluate this. Log x integration is what? Log x integration is x log x minus x. And the limit is from 0 to 1. Now put the limit and get the answer. So 1 log 1 minus 1. So that will be minus 1 minus 0. So log L is equal to minus 1 is the answer. So if log L is minus 1, L is equal to 1 by E. Because log means it is always to the base E. If I just write log, it is always to the base E. I hope you guys know that. In 11th and 12th, if I simply write log, that means it is always to the base E. Clear? So log L to the base E is minus 1. So L will be E to the power minus 1. So e to the power minus 1 is 1 by e. Got it? What is the last step? Last step is log l is equal to minus 1 I got. So this is to the base e. So l will be what? L will be e to the power minus 1. So l will be 1 by e. That's how I got my answer. I hope you guys liked it. So that's how you do it. In case you have any doubts, put it down in the comments. And I will check it out. So people, I hope you all enjoyed this question. And the right answer is option B. If you guys did it before, then congrats and a big round of applause. You guys are awesome. Okay. Because this was a nice question. And don't forget this result. Keep it in mind. Okay. It's a good result. Especially for JE Advanced Aspirants. It is a good result. Okay. Cool. So that's about it guys. This is the solution. So if you want this PDF, you can join our Telegram group and also check it out in the description of this session. I will leave it there. Okay, so people, for those who want to be very close to us, whether you are a NEAT aspirant or J aspirant, if you want to be a part of the NLight Telegram group, please join this over here. This is the official Telegram group. You can use this to join. Okay, and for the lazy ones, sir, I can't type this, sir. Can you give QR code? Yes, you can scan the QR code and you can join it. Please do so today itself so that we'll be in touch with you guys. Okay, and this is completely free of cost, nothing attached, no cost attached. Okay, so it's completely free. It's like WhatsApp. So now finally, before you all leave, if you are a new student to this channel, then make sure you subscribe. And if you're a loyal subscriber already, then share it to your friends and let them know that this series is going on. Maybe it'll help them. And guys, if you want to learn more, like this question in a very short span, then please do check out the crash course. It is just for 1800. The link is below. I'll also be teaching in that crash course along with Shreya sir and Vazim sir. So make use of it and do well in your exam. Okay. And if you are from 10th and 11th standard, we have the yearly course, one year full course, one year maths, physics, chemistry for JE, physics, chemistry, bio for NEET, one full year for just 4,500. Okay. And that also I leave it in the description in case you are interested. I'll see you in the class. And all the very best people work hard, do well and enjoy your learning because these days will not come back. Okay. All the best. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.